we are all aware as well that an a negotiation will only be successful if uh, Ukraine is liberated and its sovereignty is protected. Russia must now see that it cannot impose its will militarily, even if there are s s fake pretend referenda in territories that have been bombed and are now occupied. It is up to the members of the Security Council to say this loud and clear and to the members of this assembly to support us on our path to peace. I, from this podium, call upon members of the United Nations to act so that Russia rejects the path of war and assesses the cost for itself and for all of us and really brings an end to this act of aggression. We're not talking about choosing a camp here between the east and the west, either between the north or the south either. What we're talking about is everybody's responsibility, everybody who's committed to the respect of the Charter and our most common precious good, peace. Because over and beyond war, there's a risk of dividing the world that's at stake here with the direct and indirect impact of the conflict. I know that here many cherish a feeling of injustice because of economic, energy, uh, and all the other dramatic consequences because of the war conducted by Russia. I know that there are countries here that have chosen a form of neutrality vis-a-vis -vis this war. Um, with uh, very uh, honestly today, who is um, saying clearly, those who are saying that they're not aligned, they are wrong. They are making a historic um, it, error. The combat of the non-aligned movement is a combat for peace. They fought for peace, for the sovereignty of states, for the territorial integrity of everybody. 